So now that we know some logical functions, let's take a look at how we can use those to gain some conclusions based on our data. So if we have this spreadsheet, this is just all made up fake student grade data, but if we have student numbers, the semester the student came in, maybe the age, the number of classes they've taken previously, and the score, well, we can use some functions to, to do a little bit better with this data. So uh, let's add a column here called letter grade. And we're going to use the ifs function to compute a letter grade. So we'll say if the score is greater than 90, let's make that an A. And if E2 is greater than 80, we'll make that a B. E2 is greater than 70, we'll make that a C. If E2 is greater than 60, we'll make that a D. And if E2 is greater than or equal to 0, we'll make that an F. So we can copy that all the way down. We'll go ahead and just select all of this data and let's go ahead and center all of these values so they jump out a little bit more. So now we can see all of that and this is kind of interesting because then we can do a breakdown. We can say uh, we'll create a tab called grade breakdown and we can just add A, B, C, D, and F and we can count how many of these we have. So count if uh, student grades is equal to A1 and then we can see 161 A's so this hypothetical class isn't that hard, I guess, because it looks like uh, quite a few students get A's, but that's all right. You know, maybe maybe it's just a, a good teacher. I don't know. Um, so we can see that breakdown. Now, maybe we want to know if students are experienced. So let's create a column here called experienced. And we'll say if a student uh, has an age that is, you know, if the student age, we'll say C2 here, is greater than 20 or 21, 22, let's use 22. Uh, then we'll say that, well, let's actually include a few criteria. Let's use and to say if C2 is greater than 22 and uh, if the number of classes that they've taken previously is greater than 10, then we'll call that student very experienced. And we make sure our, we close our and function here. This is going to get strange. There we go. So that student's going to be very experienced. And we'll say if they're not very experienced, we'll do another if. We'll just nest this if here. We'll say if and C2 is greater than 20 and D2 is greater than 8, then we'll say that student is experienced. Otherwise, we won't comment. So now we hit enter and we can copy this throughout our spreadsheet. And you can see we have some students that are experienced, some students that are very experienced. And, uh, you know, we can, we can then kind of assume, you know, a student that's experienced should probably get an A. So what if we create a column that says experienced and no A? Uh, now we can use just a really basic and to, uh, to, make, to count these. So we can use, uh, well, if this equals experienced, and we're going to want to put this in an and. So and and this does not equal A. So we can see false here and we'll copy that throughout. So we have a lot of false values but it looks like there are a few true values. Uh, just using the simple and we can then count how many students did not receive uh, an A that were experienced. So let's go ahead and create a new tab and we can just call this, you know, uh, we'll call this question and we'll say how many students that were experienced did not receive an A? And then we can just use count if and go into student grades and count if true. And we can see 14 students that were experienced didn't receive an A. So you know that that makes up a, a decent you know, it's a decent number. Uh, so we can use this this basic logic to to count you know things that match a particular criteria. Um, you know maybe we want to know you know we want to use another function here to kind of see well maybe uh, the semester that they they took the class maybe that made a difference maybe the class was better in certain semesters. Um, so we might want to use an average for that. Now fortunately we have a couple of ways we can compute an average, but let's go ahead and create uh, a sheet. We'll call it grades by semester and we can use that sort unique to get all of the values from our student grades so I'm just gonna select B2 and then go all the way down to B339 and uh, now I could use well if I want to know an average there's there's one way I can do this now I could use some if and get all of the scores from student grades 
and I could sum if it's equal to this per this first value. So it looks like I had some kind of mistake here. So it looks like uh, this is this is the value I want, but my sum if is probably not right. E E. Uh, so I didn't I didn't check the column. So I have my sum if, which is uh, sum if is looking at the score. That's what the problem is. So let's change this. We'll use sum if. And we'll go back to student grades and we'll say semester. Uh, looks like I lost my click here. Sum if student grades. We can get underneath there. Semester. It looks like I kind of came out of there. Sum if a1, and then we'll sum the score. So this didn't come quite, but we'll just go ahead and type it in. There we go. Sum it, and we have we can then use this for all of these. But this just tells us the sum. We're also gonna we can compute the average by using count if count if, and then we'll just use this same value. We can just copy that, paste that over here. And that will give us the average. Now, fortunately, we don't have to do that. We don't have to use, I mean, it will give us the same result either way, but because, you know, an average is just the sum divided by the count. Uh, but we also have an average if. So I can use the average if function that works just like the sum if function. And it's going to, well, it didn't like that one. Sum if, so let's, oh, because we have an extra, we have extra parens here. There we go. So that's going to give me the exact same result there. So, you know, if we want to format this, you know, maybe we show only two decimal places, but we can see how this semester breaks down. So it looks like some of these, you know, we could actually even apply conditional formatting here to see exactly what this data breakdown looks like. We can apply that conditional formatting, use that color scale, and then we'll use like a red to, or we can use like the red to green, kind of looks like an Italian flag. Um, so you can see, well, we had really low scores in this summer semester here. Uh, but then really high scores in these these winter semesters so interesting you know maybe there's a trend there but uh, you can see here how we can use these logical functions you know the you, the different if s the and uh, the if and then combining that with and we can use that to gain a lot of information from our spreadsheet uh, so hopefully this was useful hopefully you're, you're learning a little bit more about how these works uh, these these different functions work but Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have an exercise for you to try next.